Hey everyone, I wanted to add a quick little clip in here before the main portion of the video starts. I noticed while I was editing that I had a good case of the sniffles. Um, I have year-round allergies, so I just wanted to come on here and say I apologize for the sniffles. Um, I would have completely redone everything over again, but I was so tired, so I just wanted to come on here and say I apologize for all my sniffles. Um, I also noticed that I was talking slowly um, and pausing a lot, and that's part of the fatigue that I had when we recorded this. Um, and I was also trying to focus on my words, so please excuse the sniffles, pauses, and the, the slow talking. Um, I'll try and hopefully fix that in coming up videos. So thank you so much for your patience with this. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention is... Um, I may have some lighting issues in some of my videos, or shading issues, or uh, things like that. I don't have all of the expensive um, equipment that a lot of YouTube vloggers have, um, but I'm doing the best with what I have. Uh, cancer is quite the expensive disease to have. And that kind of hinders going and buying big, expensive, fancy equipment to vlog. I used to work in the IT field, and I love all that kind of stuff. So if I win the lottery, I am going to totally go all out on equipment so that I can have fun with it. But until then, I have my money going towards all of my care for my health. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the vlog and uh, the information that I'm telling you in it. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's Brenda. This is my puppy Maggie. I wanted to make this video to let you know that I am still here and I'm still in my battle with stage 4 breast cancer. I also wanted to make this video to let you know that I'm going to make an attempt to come back and start making a few videos again with the help of my family. Nothing made me happier than making the few videos that I made before. I also enjoyed editing them and learning new things. So much has happened in the time that I've been gone. I've been through everything from new tumors, being in a hyperbaric oxygen tank, having hospital stays, surgeries, new feeding tube formulas. I've had a morph in my cancer. I've had more radiation new medications, new lymphedema treatments, and so on and so forth. At some point I will make a video to kind of go through everything that I've been through in the time that I'm gone. Things got really rough for a while and to be honest they're almost a little worse than they were before. But my family knows how important it is to me and the enjoyment that I get out of making these videos. So with their help, I'm hoping that I can come back slowly. Just a quick update on my, you're going to have to excuse me, I have major chemo brain so I have some notes on a couple things that I wanted to say in this video. Just a kind of a super high level on what I am currently going through. Um, a tiny bit of 
going back into the past. Um, at the beginning of 2019, I had a tumor show up in my left axillary area. Um, we ended up fighting that tumor with IV chemotherapy and radiation. When it came time to heal and get all of that to close up from the surgery, they also went in and did surgery and removed the tumor. While it was healing, I had to use um, the use of a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. I can go into how that all works and um, the, signs, the side effects that I had from that. Um, I didn't enjoy the hyperbaric oxygen tank at all, um, but it was something that we needed to try at the time. A couple months ago, my skin opened up in the exact same spot as the tumor was at the beginning of 2019. We didn't know what was going on at the time. I had been to the wound clinic and they said, well, we don't want to try and touch this or close this until we are positive that there's no cancer in there. So I was sent to a plastic surgeon who said that if he went in to try and remove a whole bunch of stuff and close it up that the surgery would be way too big for me to handle and go through right now. It would be over an eight hour surgery because the um, opening involved like moving muscles, pulling muscles from my back, connecting them with muscles in my chest. It would just be a very big process and he didn't want to do that if I had cancer cells in there because there was a chance of going in there and not getting everything. I was sent over to my general surgeon who removed the tumor at the beginning of 2018. And she did a biopsy and in a surprise to us, we found out that the reason my skin had opened back up was because there was a new tumor. Um, that was pretty scary. I wasn't quite ready for that to happen, but little did I know that was about the easiest um, news to get than what was to come. I was sent over to get a PET scan done and the results of the PET scan showed that this was the absolute largest tumor that I have ever had. It was also too big to do surgery and remove it. It was um, involved in all of my muscle in my chest. It was wrapped around muscles in my chest and there was just no way that we could do surgery to try and remove it. I've also had radiation in this area quite a few times already. So that was kind of not an option for me either. So the only option in talking to my oncologist was to start IV chemotherapy. Some of you know that I have been on almost every single chemotherapy that I can try. And there are very, very, very few chemotherapies left for me to try. I don't have a lot of options left. 
this terrified me and it also terrified my family. The chemotherapy that previously worked in this area at the beginning of 2019 was the first chemotherapy that we thought we would try. I went through two full cycles of that chemotherapy. It was called Halibin. And unfortunately this time it didn't work. That chemotherapy at the time we thought was my last option for a long-term chemotherapy. The only other IV chemotherapy options that I had left were chemotherapy drugs that I couldn't stay on for any length of time. Most of them were only safe to have four to six treatments. And when you know that all you have left is short-term chemotherapies and surgery and radiation are not options, I can't even explain to you everything that was going through my mind. Excuse me. On April 22nd of 2020, the FDA approved a brand new drug. called Secatuzumab Govidican. And since my cancer had changed so much, my doctor wanted to give this new drug a try because it was a drug that I would be able to stay on long term if it worked, but that this was the only long term drug that we would have. About a month ago I started the Sacatuzumab Govidican and it is to date the hardest chemotherapy I have ever been on. The side effects are debilitating. Um, I'm currently in my week off of the cycle, so that is why I'm able to sit here in front of you and do this update right now. Um, pretty soon we have some scans coming up and all we can do is hope and pray that this works and buys me some more time with all of the family and friends that are in my life. They mean everything to me and my support system means everything to me. As of the end of August of this year, I will have been fighting non-stop for five years and to still be here with aggressive triple negative breast cancer and 
not having any breaks in chemotherapy is almost unheard of. I feel so blessed that this option came up. I pray that it works and that it gives me more time so that I can do the things that I absolutely love. I love making these videos. I love editing them. I love talking with all of you and reading your comments. It keeps me going. It, it, I know lots of YouTubers have said it before, but it's like a therapy. It's almost as if you've unloaded so much off of your shoulders to allow yourself to keep going. You have so much stress of everything going on and you release it all in a video and it's almost like you can take on more now. So I am going to slowly make an attempt to come back and make videos here and there, um, maybe some Q&As, maybe some with my family, maybe some more how-tos with um, new things that I have to do for my port or my feeding tube or my lymphedema or injections or any of the other things um, that I have to take care of daily in my life. I have um, a lot of support from my family. They help me every single day knowing that the IV chemo that I'm on right now makes me so sick and it's kind of hard some days because my brain and my body don't want to work together. My my body's so tired and it doesn't want to get up and my brain is like you're wasting the day you 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 need to get up let's go craft let's go do this let's go do that let's go do this but my body just cannot physically get up and um I struggle with wanting to get every single minute with my family that I can. Sometimes trying to force myself to get out of bed just to sit up for a while on the couch to soak up some minutes with my family every day whether we're just watching TV or having a dinner together, it doesn't matter, but the quality time matters with my family, my daughter, my friends, and so much that is going on right now has changed the way that my care happens. I have pretty much been locked down to my home. There are very, very, very few times that I have been out. Um, my oncologist um, obviously I have to go in for treatments, but most of my other doctors are doing tele-appointments and video appointments and helping me that way to try and protect me 
from other things that are going around right now. It's pretty scary. My family has to be especially careful as well um, because as they're out and about doing the things that they have to do, they have to make sure that they don't bring any type of an illness back into the house to me with me not having much of an immune system at all. So there are a couple new stressors in my house um, on top of everything that we're going through right now. Um, other than my cancer and my options, the limited options, and now we have all of these new things that we have to be careful of. And in order to not let the stress get the best of me, I do my best to find things to do at home, whether it's maybe getting some little craft, ordering some little craft from Amazon, or um, trying to make something new, um, coloring, or um, sometimes I like things that I can do, maybe if I can just get out of bed and sit down at the table. Some days I can do projects like that. Other days I need to find something to do that I can do right here in my medical resting room. But those are the things that are keeping my spirits up right now since I can't have much interaction with the outside world. And these are the things that are keeping my mind busy so that I can keep going. Need to try and see where I'm going again. The chemo brain and fogginess and all of that is um, worse. And if you are a cancer survivor of any kind, I know that a lot of you understand. And I know that a lot of people with autoimmune conditions understand as well because some of them deal with severe brain fog as well. Um, part of the reason that got me to make this video for you tonight is because I happen to go into my channel just out of plain curiosity. Um, I figured I would have lost all subscribers. I figured there would be little to no new views on my videos and instead I almost had tears in my eyes because people were still watching my videos and still commenting and even more surprisingly people were still subscribing to my channel to find out if there was more or if I was okay. And I, I believe at some point somebody may have even called you too. And I can't tell you how good that makes me feel to know that there were people out there who cared enough to try and find out what was going on. So I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart 
for basically keeping my channel going when I wasn't there. I didn't think that I'd be able to make videos anymore and start up a channel and go back doing what I loved. Um, but it turns out that I didn't need to start from zero. So I can't thank you all enough for everything that I saw when I went and looked at my channel. I I was more than surprised and I'm still speechless. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. Um one of my videos was over 20,000 views and I can't even wrap my head around that. I never expected my channel to have over 100 views on any video. I never expected to have more than 10 or 15 subscribers. Um, the, the reason that I stopped was for health reasons. Things had gotten way too hard. Um, and they're still very difficult, but I'm hoping that I can do this with the help of my family. My channel was to tell my story and my journey and how I continue to fight and how I keep going every day and what it takes to keep going and hopefully show information about some of the medical things that I go through to help others to understand that if you're getting a feeding tube for the first time or a port for the first time, it's not so bad. So, I just wanna make sure that all of you out there understand how special you are to me, that you're still here on my channel. I can hope that I'll grow a little bit more. I'm nowhere near to millions of subscribers and, and all of that, and that's okay because my videos probably will have a select audience um, since my video is not an everyday life. Um, it's more of a story and a journey. And I hope that all of you will go through it with me and I hope that I can come back and do what I love. I don't know how to explain the happiness that I had inside of me making all of I say all of as if I have 500 videos. <laughs> the making of the few that I have on my channel. So, 
I think at this point I have probably chatted way more than I thought I would. Um, I've probably repeated myself a couple times, but uh, please excuse the chemo brain. But again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the support. Because of you, I get to try and come back doing what I love. If there was nobody left on my channel, I would have had to let something that I love go. So, y'all are pretty special. And those of you that came on my channel and commented, um, trying to make sure if I was okay, thank you. Because it's some of you that got me to think, maybe I need to give this another try. And I think I can. So I hope to talk to you all soon. I hope that I will hear from some of you in the comments. If you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see first over anything else feel free to comment and I'll try and do them as I can. Again, I'm attempting to come back and make some videos here and there as my body will let me as I can as um, as much as I can to come back and do what I love. So feel free to do all those wonderful things that YouTubers say at this point. Comment, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. And thank you so much for hanging in there on my journey. You all mean so much to me. As always, sending love and hugs to all of you from me.